Hi, are you looking for a new bed for your kid's room? Have you thought about a low loft bed? I just built this one for my son. It took me a couple hours and about $50 in lumber to make it. In this video, I'm gonna go through all the steps that I took to build it. And also linked in the description is the free plan to build your own. For this project, I designed a brand new plan that is available through the link in the description. It's for a twin size mattress. It includes a shopping list that has all of the materials that you need to just take it right to your local home improvement store. It also includes a cut list to help you get all your boards cut. I recommend cutting with a miter saw or a chop saw as I'm doing. The first step is to build two of these ends. I'm gonna use two and a half inch long number eight torque head screws since they're self-drilling, they rarely split the wood. Um, and they're just really easy to work with. I'm also using a hammer drill um, to make driving these screws a little easier. I built two of these ends that are identical. Now I'm gonna attach them together with a longer two by sixes that are 75 inches long. So I'm just attaching, I attach in two points for these. So from the outside and then from the inside of the leg, I attach at a slight angle. If this isn't making sense, don't worry. We have a very detailed plan that explains where every single screw goes and even a count of the number of screws you'll need. At this point, the project was getting really large for my work surface, so I moved it to the ground. My husband gave me a hand and having a second person was huge. It's such a big project. Just having someone hold the other end of the board can you know, cut the time to build in half. So um, the next thing I'm doing is the ladder and I decided to add the ladder outset like that because it increases the strength of those front legs considerably. I wish I had just gone ahead and pre-painted all of my boards before I even got into cutting um, in hindsight. And I hope you know that's a better way for you to do it. But we ended up spraying ours with primer and then several coats of paint. Here it is all ready to go. So now for the mattress support system, I'm using two by twos and just attaching them flush to the bottom of the bottom two by six on both sides. And two by twos are readily available and they're, they're pretty inexpensive and easy to work with. And I'm just using the same screws. And from there, I can just throw the bed slats right on top of it to get the support system for the mattress. And this also creates a ventilated mattress. Um, so it's a really good way to, to do this. All right, so now here's the problem. The bed is not going to fit through a regular size doorway. So um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the bed apart by just removing the four and two by six pieces. So if you wanted to build this and finish it in the room, that would be an alternative, or like I said earlier, paint all the pieces first, then move all the painting pieces first into the room, and then assemble it, that would be an option as well. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you could do this. It really just depends on your space and your workspace and um, if you can paint in the room or not. No matter which way you go, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do a little bit of touch-up painting at the very end after assembly. I like doing it this way because it was really easy to haul those lightweight panels right up the stairs and put it together. So these are the slats I'm just using leftover one by boards that I had. Um, you can use even three quarter inch plywood, one by fours, one by sixes. Um, just throw them in there and screw it down. This bed turned out so amazing. I love it. Well, this was one of the easiest big builds I have ever done. And um, I just wanna show you how sturdy this bed is and um, how durable it is. By adding this ladder on the outside, we really strengthen up this front leg. So I think it's going to last a long time. Uh, I can't wait to add storage solutions underneath it to put all the toys and the clothes and things away. So stay tuned for those plans as well. I also am interested in putting out a bunk bed plan and a higher loft. Uh, but I need to know what you guys are thinking. So if you're interested in those plans, please leave a comment so I know. 
Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week with a brand new video.